Hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back so in this video we are going to be making halal style chicken over rice so in this bowl I have three chicken thighs cleaned deboned and the skin removed cut into cubes and here I have a spice blend which will be listed in the description below and as well as the measurements for these items over here so let's get started by Mixing our spice blend together. Okay, that should do. Okay, so the spice blend is well mixed. Okay, so next we are going to be adding our measurement of olive oil, or you can use avocado oil, whichever you prefer. That's okay. Now I'm going to add the entire amount of this spice blend. minced garlic and lemon juice and also some white vinegar well, let's give that a thorough mix and we're gonna let this marinate for about four hours but you can do it anywhere from four hours plus it's totally up to you for when you are ready to make this dish oh that smells good wow that fresh garlic really has a punch to it okay so I'm going to cover this and wrap it in the refrigerator. And we'll be back when it's time to prepare the rest of the dish. We are going to be melting about two teaspoons of butter. All right, we're gonna get, let that get all nice and melted till it starts to bubble a little. And to the melted butter, we are going to be adding our spices to this butter so you can cook out some of the strong flavor. This spice blend consists of some turmeric, salt, curry powder, a pinch of nutmeg right in the middle, a pinch of ginger, coriander, and some cumin. So this is the spice blend we're gonna dump in. Okay, get that in there. Just stir that around, let it mix in the butter. Let that cook down a little bit. Oh wow, this smells just like the New York food carts we have here. Uh, you're gonna let that bubble up a little bit more 
or rather toast up. For about a minute or so, just let that go. So, okay, that's all melted and nice. And to this, I'm going to be adding some washed basmati rice. And you're gonna let that toast up. Guys, the uh, measure measurements will be in the description below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And also hit your notification bell so that you can be notified when I post another video. Okay, that looks like it's well incorporated. Gonna let that toast up a bit. Okay, it looks like the rice has toasted up enough. So now I'm going to add some chicken bouillon. It's actually the uh, Better Than Bouillon brand. That stuff is amazing. You guys got to try it if you haven't already. Okay. Guys, don't forget the ingredients will be in the description below. I'm trying to get all of it, man. All right, all right, all right, okay, get that all mixed up in there, and the liquid that I'm going to be using to cook this rice is going to be some vegetable broth. You can use chicken, but I had vegetable broth, so I'm going to be going with that. It's going to taste just fine. Now I'm going to add the vegetable broth Ooh -wee. give this a quick mix let it come to a quick boil then I will reduce the heat and let it cook from 20 to 25 minutes now we're going to move on to preparing the chicken. Okay guys, we are back and it's time to start preparing the chicken. So I have my griddle already preheating and to that I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. All right. Just going to brush that all over. That is ready. What you want is for your oil to get hot so that your chicken can have a bit of a crisp to it. You know, like the perfect seal. So here we go with the chicken pieces that we marinated earlier. Guys, this rice smells amazing right now. Okay, so I'm gonna let these chicken pieces cook until they are perfectly done, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just flipped the chicken and I'm letting it cook some more. Look how amazing that looks. This is gonna be so flavorful. Oh my God, I can't wait to taste it. This chicken is coming out so amazing. Look at the perfect sear on these. Nice crust. Okay, so these are about done. I'm gonna turn this off. And I'll be back. Guys, look at this rice. It came out so perfect. Nice and flaky, not clumpy and stuck together. Look at that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Thank you.